70 years in the making, Leica has just released their 11th generation of the timeless M-Series rangefinder camera. This is the new full-frame 60 megapixel BSI CMOS rangefinder, the Leica M11. This new model comes nearly 70 years after the first Leica M camera was released in 1954. And the first thing you'll notice is the timeless camera body design that Leica just refuses to abandon, and with good reason. It's an aesthetic that defined a generation of photographers, because at its core, the M11 is still a rangefinder, so it is manual focus only, and still has the same optical viewfinder. However, its imaging platform has some pretty noticeable changes, like the aforementioned full frame 60 megapixel BSI CMOS. This is the first time an M-series rangefinder camera has used a backside illuminated sensor that will dramatically help produce lower noise at higher ISOs, which means photographers can confidently take this new camera into low lighting environments knowing they can make their shot. The new 60 megapixel sensor offers triple resolution technology, which is essentially a pixel binning function that provides users with three working resolutions. There is the full resolution of 60 megapixels, which offers the largest file size and 14 stops of dynamic range. A medium resolution of 36 megapixels with 15 stops of dynamic range, while providing a good balance of resolution and noise. And the third option is a lower resolution of 18 megapixels that offers the best noise performance while also providing 15 stops of dynamic range. All three resolutions have 14-bit color, and since it's a pixel binning process, they all use the full sensor area with no cropping. The base ISO is 64 and goes all the way up to 50,000 ISO thanks to dual pixel gain technology of the sensor. This means photographers can get very clean images, especially at 18 megapixels. The M11 sensor is fitted with a UV-IR dual layer filter that is incredibly thin and lets the sensor reap the full optical benefits of the impressive Leica lens lineup. Also new to the M series is the Maestro 3 image processor that provides faster processing and storage, giving the new Leica M11 four and a half frames per second of continuous shooting. The buffer will vary by the size of the resolution that is selected, i.e. 15 DNG files in full res and unlimited buffer while in small res. And yes, you heard correctly, the M11 features 64 gigs of internal storage. This way, photographers can get that extra space for spillover or split their files across both storage types. It's not quite dual SD card slots, but this is a great workaround because it keeps the camera compact. Although the physical design looks familiar, there are a few updates, which include an updated menu design for faster and smoother operation, an extra function button on the top right next to the shutter release for added customization, and for the first time in an M-series camera, the bottom plate is no longer removable. Instead of needing to remove the bottom plate to access the battery, the M11 features a new battery design akin to the Q and SL cameras where you simply insert the battery right into the base of the camera. There's now a two-stage lock to keep it secure, and this brand new battery has 64% more capacity than the previous model. A USB Type-C port can be found in the base for internal charging and file sharing. A single UHS-2 SD card slot is located in the battery chamber. The new M11 will come in two colors. The black model has an aluminum black top and weighs 20% less than the silver model, which has the classic brass top plate and weighs a little more. A new Viso Flex 2 has been announced and will be compatible with the M11 and the M10. It features a 3.68 megapixel OLED display, anodized aluminum, and a three-stage tilting design of 0, 45, and 90 degrees. The M11 has wireless connectivity and supports a freshly updated Leica Photos app, now at version 3.0, which automatically geotags images and helps sort and locate your favorite photos on your mobile device. The app is only going to support iOS devices at launch, but look out for Android version in the future. A few more notable improvements include the new two-step digital zoom function made possible by the 60 megapixel resolution, which is great to have in a pinch if you need that extra zoom. multi-field light metering mode is now possible for the first time on an M rangefinder. This will help expose for those challenging lighting environments. The new electronic shutter can go all the way up to 1 16,000th of a second, which is great for working with fast lenses under bright conditions, like the f0.95 Noctilus lens. Even though the camera does not have IBIS, the live view offers a form of stabilization that helps steady the frame when composing. This is especially useful when working with longer lenses. 
Needless to say, the Leica M series rangefinder is a timeless camera design that's familiar and intuitive. And the new M11 represents meaningful technological and design upgrades that modern photographers are demanding. I'm talking more resolution, faster processing, easier menus, better app integration, advanced metering, and electronic shutter make the Leica M11 a phenomenal upgrade for any modern day Leica photographer. And on top of that, the unique triple resolution technology provides flexible image capture options for photographers. This way they don't have to choose between more resolution or low noise performance because the new M11 offers both. The Leica M11 represents a timeless camera with modern technological advancements. It's really the best of the old and the new. But what are you most excited about with this new Leica M11 rangefinder? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Jake with B&H, just keep rolling.